Let's go. A fitness app that watches you while you work out. A new fitness app uses computer vision. The app is called Onyx. The Onyx. Onyx. Hi, my name is Asaf, and three years ago, my friend James and I left our jobs to start our own company. We decided to document every step of the way from our terrible early ideas to getting acquired last year, so we can give you a raw and unfiltered view of what it was like. Here's the story of how we built and sold our first company. Hi, my name is Asaf, I'm 24 years old, and a few weeks ago I left my job with the goal of starting my own company. I decided that in order to make this experience a little more fun, I'm going to document as much of it as I can, so that I can remember all the awesome steps along the way, and more importantly, so I can share that experience with you. So here it goes. Alright James, are we making it official? Hi. Yeah? Is it happening? Hi. Alright, it's happening. <laughs> Are you ready, James? Yes. Are you ready? Are right, we doing do it? it? Is you it won. official? Now it's official. <laughs> nice butt. <laughs> so our current idea basically involves putting sonar fish finders on drones, so you can asynchronously search a far greater area around the boat. So it looks like technologically this is actually quite impractical. They always say go talk to people before you build anything, but doing a little bit of technical due diligence before you call a bunch of people is probably a good idea. So now we're looking into solving the problem of knowing whether or not a piece of clothing will fit you when you're buying online. This is our first time at a cafe. I think this is a milestone <laughs> worth noting. Do you agree? Absolutely. <laughs> Hi, I'm James. And I'm Asaf. And we're trying to answer one of the internet's biggest questions. What makes videos go viral? We are now really interested in social video. So we're curious if we can help companies better understand what makes videos succeed by analyzing what's going on inside the video. You have repeated, um, what is it? It's each sentiment is off of a word, right? So sentiment is off of a word. And Glacier.ai is available. We are totally going to buy it. I am learning how to use Sketch, basically learning how to be a designer. James has just sent his first ever cold email. This is our first slide deck. James, how does that make you feel? Stressed. Just pushed my first code after three months of this guy doing all the code. This is exciting times for me. We're finally starting to get some responses to these cold emails. Tomorrow I have a couple calls with people at Wall Street Journal and Mashable. And on Friday I'm speaking with the head of video growth at Vox. Well, this is it. Tomorrow we will be moving from this quote unquote office into the new office, my sister's room. We are about to find out if a function exists in the SDK that basically determines if this entire product is possible or not. <laughs> oh, it is? It's the sequence and not the sequence ID. No. Woohoo! I just got a reply from an executive director at Time Inc. So I'm a little bit intimidated to say the least. And we're still doing some research and don't know exactly what the product will look like. We're taking a design school class. Yeah. And we need arts and crafts. Building the most generic website that has ever existed. Yo. Happy birthday to you. He brings me a gift on his yes, birthday. I do. I'm on my way to my first investor meeting right now. Uh, the goal is not to raise any money or pitch, but it's time to start making some friends. So I just spoke to two top level executives at different online publishers and both of them are incredibly interested in what we're building. I am starting to realize that what we are talking to people about actually resonates. I can't really explain how pumped I am right now. I have some level of hope that we are going in the right direction and that we can actually build something super cool. So today was interesting. We got on a call with a major online media publisher and they didn't seem to really understand what we were doing and I think that was slightly our fault. Um, 
But yeah, they literally hung up on us mid-sentence. It was quite frustrating. It's all part of the learning process. So I have not recorded anything in quite a while. We've kind of taken a step back. In hindsight, I think we jumped a little too quickly into one of the first ideas we had. The best thing we can do right now is continue to do our research and meet the right people and to increase the likelihood that the right opportunity actually comes up. So we have an idea that we actually kind of like. Basically, we think it'd be awesome to use computer vision to track your workouts in real time. Today we can measure things like speed, distance, and heart rate with wearables, but those things are basically limited to just running and cycling and a few other exercises. If we could truly understand what you're doing, uh, how good your form is, how many reps you've completed, we could build a sort of virtual personal trainer that actually understands you and changes what it says based on your performance. Now James and I both really like fitness, which is why we're so excited about it. We are seeing if the iPhone's depth data is good enough. All right, so what's on the left? The iPhone. And on the right? Connect. All right, so the only thing that I know, O is my only variable, so this is a constant. 80 looks great. Damn, look at that move. So the segmentation is, is significantly worse this time. This is possibly the first ever decently successful pose estimation done on the phone. And it is all thanks to James, the mastermind. That actually looks like you. Sort of. We are counting squats. Boom, nine, do it again. It's working, dude. We are applying to YC and we are drinking Soylent. Can you get any more startup in this game? Hello, James. Hello, hello, James. James, 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 James. Hello, James. I've got my microphone, my audio interface, and my Ableton. Are you excited? Feet pointing straight, hands out in front of you, and you should bend down to 90 degrees on each rep. Get ready, go. <laughs> this is Asaf here at Onyx, and today we've got a two to three minute intermediate level exercise I sound great. for you. 10 out of 10. You're starting to bend your waist down towards the floor. I want you to bring your butt back up and keep your body straight. Good. Okay, so we are so excited about this. We have a demo that is fully functioning. Uh, the tracking is working, we can count your reps. We can give you feedback on your form. We're basically ready to take it to VCs and try to raise some money so we can really quickly get this out to market. We're definitely at that point where like, we know we have something amazing and we want to do this before anybody else does. I'm about to go talk to the head of marketing at the company that I used to work for. He's super connected in the valley. Hopefully he'll be inclined to help us out and make some introductions and maybe even invest some money of his own. So I just finished the meeting and he said that he not only really loves the idea, but he is very interested in possibly advising us, uh, maybe even investing. Anyway, I'm ridiculously excited. Like this is the first time that it feels like something's like happening. I don't even know how to put it into words. Back in SF, I am meeting with a few friends who have already raised from VCs. Hopefully they can make some really good intros. All right, we're starting to raise money tomorrow. Are you prepared? Cheers. Oh my God, it's working. Um, dude, you're ruining our demo. Dude. We're off to our first pitch. We are trying to put together a beta app in about a day so we can start having our friends use it. It's uh, very difficult to go to VCs and make certain claims without any data. You're hitting about two thirds of the way down. Try to bend down lower to 90 <laughs> degrees. All the way. Are you ready to make some low budget content? Ooh, get it. Ooh, one more time. Go. You look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> He's tired. 
So, James is about to upload our beta to the App Store for the first time. And I'm about to click a button that officially incorporates our company. Yay. This is a big moment. Some pictures of the upcoming iPhones have supposedly leaked. According to this, they will all have IR depth cameras. Things are looking very good for us. Who are we pitching today? Bloomberg. Bloomberg? Uh, <laughs> it is, uh, it's 11 o'clock, you can't even see us. We just got back from a full day in San Francisco. We pitched three firms, going to sleep, and then waking up in the morning and back to San Francisco, right? So today is probably our most important pitch yet, and I feel absolutely terrible. Um, so hopefully we can get our shit together and still give a good presentation because we want to work with these guys. Uh, this sucks. So we've had a few firms already pass on us, but today we got a rejection from one of our top choices. I and mean, this was somebody who said when we met that it was the best demo they'd seen in years. Uh, but unfortunately, they think the market is a little too early. Not enough people have the sensor. We completely disagree with that. But um, someone will say yes, we just need one. Rejection. And another rejection. It is another no. Nope. Hey look, it's another rejection. We have now been rejected by almost every VC that we've talked to. As of right now, it looks like we might not be able to get funding. It's pretty depressing, I must say. We finally just got our first check. It's not even that much, it's $25,000. But we finally have something to start with. We got our second check today, our second angel check uh, from the head of growth at Strava. We just got an offer from a four capital to lead the entire round. Right. Can you describe to the camera what has happened this week? We went from nothing to having a commitment in like three days. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna have money now. So we're a real company. Well, we're, we have gonna to have a, we're gonna go all the way and have a real company. Not that we didn't have a real company before. The term sheet is signed for our pre-seed with a four capital. It's pretty crazy because nine days ago we had no money committed. We were kind of starting to lose hope and then yeah, now here we are. All right, time to build a company. Here I am today uh, meeting with four different law firms. So it's pretty crazy how fast things are moving. It's also exciting. I want to show you another one because Found build something called Toby Indy. Okay, I start by the push ups, then the next one is uh, jumping jacks. Yeah, it's here! What's up? Backpack. We got a backpack for $7,000. For how many thousand dollars? Eight. Eight, you said seven. Oh my god, wait, this is right. Ooh. Ooh. Give me a jumping jack. Working. Time to shoot some content. Look at that camera, man. Okay, now the other direction. I feel like those work better now. Yeah, let's see. What, let's see with a shirt over. Let's see, just you doing a push-up. So, so this is what it looks like. There it is, the money is in. Let's build a startup, Whee! First paycheck is in after a year and a half. It feels good. So we are about a week and a half away from when we want to launch a video for our beta. The app is not done yet, the design is not done yet, the technology is not ready yet, and there's no content. And all of that needs to happen in the next 13 days, so. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> so James and I put a little video together uh, that shows off our tech and we posted it yesterday on Facebook and it's starting to get a little bit of attention. A lot of our friends are sharing it. And then today, just a few hours ago, we posted it on Reddit and it actually started blowing up and we're getting a ton of signups for the beta through that. Hopefully soon we can actually start to learn about our users and then to iterate towards a real product. How are you doing something, Rex? Across the world, Facebook 360. Netflix, you can watch Netflix on this. V1 of Onyx is rejected. Okay. 
We are officially approved for the App Store. Dude, what a time to be alive. <laughs> we are here for like our fourth investor meeting and we still haven't launched. Yeah, we promised January and it's late February. No, it's mid-February. What happened today? What happened today, James? We are on the App Store. How are we celebrating? James is going on a Valentine's Day date. That's how we're celebrating. Chipotle tomorrow. Look at that cheese, man. It's been about a month since we put Onyx on the App Store, and we're learning a lot about what's wrong and what's broken, but we are making progress. This is a huge moment for our company because our number one user of all time has responded to my email. Oh, Jeff, is this Jeff? This is Jeff. There are a million things happening right now. James and I are moving to San Francisco. We're going to get a new office. We made our first offer last week to an engineer. We've been in the app store now for maybe three months. Our investors are starting to question what's going on. We are starting to question what's going on. We're getting a little bit stressed, but that's okay because we're gonna crush it. So I'm in Chicago right now. Um, I gave myself a weekend off to relax and have a great time. And the second I land, my friend calls me and tells me um, that the investor that almost invested in us and then completely disappeared is apparently leaving uh, his VC firm after seven years to build exactly what we are building. We spent a lot of time talking to this person, telling them a bunch of information. We thought maybe he didn't actually like what we were building, but apparently he liked it enough to just leave his job as an investor and try to build it himself. Slightly frustrating, but um, your own. This is gonna be our last day at the office. Our last day at the office? Where are we going next? San Francisco. San Francisco. Home sweet home. Dude! Dad! Mom! I have too much stuff to do. Why am I moving? This is the WeWork on 6th and Market. What do you think of this one? Good, it's better than WeWork. Yeah! Our first employee is joining. And we're gonna be three people and we need to effing execute. So we just learned not to celebrate too early. Uh, the guy that we got a verbal commit from ended up taking him back and it's very frustrating. Uh, but this is the process. So it keeps on going. It has been signed, we are now three people. Congratulations. I've looked at the document in the Google Doc. What did we do yesterday? We pushed monetization. Our first revenue. <laughs> Woo! We're making money. I'm making another video. Okay. This is my brother thinking hard. This video is gonna change everything. It's gonna change everything. What is today, James? It's lunch day, everybody. Let's go. Twitter is ready. LinkedIn is ready. Facebook is scheduled. We've launched. Woo! Woo! Congratulations. Oh, it's a handshake kind of video. All right, this is like the third one. So it's been a very interesting few days since we've launched. We somehow ended up going viral on LinkedIn and have almost 100,000 views there. We ended up the number one product on Product Hunt. Uh, we've gotten a lot of outreach from different um, VCs and angels. And then this morning, Apple reached out for possibly featuring us on the front page of the App Store. And we have 48 hours to submit the assets for that. It is September 5th, 2019. We're gonna get Apple best of 2020. Knock on a soylent box? Yeah, it's made out of wood. It's, it's not made, made out of wood. It's made out of cardboard. Apple event 2019. We got featured on the App Store today for the first time. It is an exciting time. I am talking to the head of mergers and acquisitions at in one minute.
I have no idea what this is going to be about or what to expect. Well, wants to make us an acquisition offer, which is pretty wild. Um, we're going to have to think about it and get back. Focus on your roadmap. Oh god, this is going to be so disturbing. You somehow look more manly. It's a personalized fitness app. It looks like your body is like strong. Okay, update. We are discovering that our whole company is fucked and we're going to fail and we can't do paid acquisition and we'll be dead in 10 months. Yay. We are building challenges like who can do the most push ups or hold the longest plank. We're also building highlight videos so you can show off your performance and then hopefully help us grow the product organically. So San Francisco has just announced a required uh, quarantine and I still have not gotten my groceries. So I need to go prepare and it's gonna be a long work from home. It is time to say goodbye to the office until coronavirus is gone. We're stuck here. Yeah, Alejandro. It takes a coronavirus to get your friends to finally use your app. Oh, snap, on your first workout. We are seeing quite a spike in new signups this week. I highlighted in yellow. Now it's, um... We've been talking to basketball players. Everyone we've been doing fitness tech. The barber at work. We're doing like royalty. There we go. Challenges have officially launched. The Onyx. Push up challenge. Oh, he is up. He's doing it. He's doing it. Faster, faster, more. Oh. Revenue is officially growing like crazy. The fitness app that watches you while you work out. And it even creates a little highlight reel you can then post to social media. These six onboarding screens that we just added have almost doubled our purchase conversion. We are about to pass half a million in revenue. It's official. We are the app of the day in the United States. We've been dreaming of this moment and now it's happening. We're gonna get Apple best of 2020. We're pitching A16Z tomorrow, Sequoia on Wednesday, and probably 10 other firms this week. And that is what app of the day looks like. We are in the top 1,000 free iPhone apps in the entire app store. So I got an email a couple weeks ago from the m &A team at CureFit, the leading health and wellness company in India. They have expressed interest in either strategic investment or acquisition. We'll see where the conversation takes us and we'll go from there. Well, we officially have a verbal offer from CureFit. Congrats on our first verbal acquisition offer. How do you feel about the fact that you just signed a term sheet to sell your company that We're you've been working the on company. for two years. So what would the slides be? We have our technical kickoff tomorrow and we are trying to figure out exactly how much information we should share at what point. We're committed to trying to make this happen now. Oh, God. Are we at the end of the road? Oh, you yeah. clever man. You're a clever man. I think it's swim after you get to the end of the road. Oh, so are we diving in the deep end? We have gone through legal due diligence and it seems like everything's good. Just got off the phone with four or five different lawyers, um, CureFit, our team. We have 100% commitment that this is going to go through. Look at this man. Look at this model. Look at those shoes. What are you signing, James? I have signed. I was signing away the company. I was signing <laughs> away the company. This is it. Good? Yeah, it's not until you click finish. Finish.
Congratulations. Yeah, there you go. The handshake. Right there. there. <laughs> nice. Your fit has acquired US based Onyx, essentially enabling your phone camera to track your movement. And that is a wrap. The last few years building this company have been nothing short of incredible. Getting to build such a unique product that I'm truly passionate about with one of my best friends and so many other incredible people. Thank you to our investors, advisors, our friends and family, and most importantly, the 32 people who were involved in building this company. As for what's next, we've probably got another company up our sleeves in the future, so stay tuned.